Right, it would kind of look like fake costume jewellery. I don't think I'd be doing that. <laughs> what we're saying then is very not me. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Hi everyone, so it's becoming a little bit of a problem now, but just a little bit of a preview. It's like three little mini hauls in one. So if I look a bit different, it's because of that. Every time I go to Primark, I have to return stuff because obviously fitting rooms aren't open. And so when we buy stuff, we have to return them afterwards. Yesterday we were stood in the queue for 40 minutes. I picked up a few more things whilst we were shopping there. Because might as well, because you're already queuing, you might as well do a bit of shopping. Let's just dive in. I haven't got the other clothing route at the moment because my sister has her clothes on that first thing i immediately went to go look for i've looked for about three times since and this is the leather jacket the like faux leather jacket that you would have seen in my last primark haul and this time i found it in a size 16 they also had a size 14 as well many of the sizes were sold out by the way but i got lucky this time and this is in a size 16 i'll try it on for you guys and i'm gonna get my sister to return the size 20 because this one fits much better as it is still oversized but you don't have too much excess material again it was 25 pounds it's a lovely soft kind of leather it's really nice and then inside it's like kind of like a faux suede but for 25 pound you can't really go wrong can you it's not size 20 this one's a size 18 and this one's a size 16. If you see it on the mannequin, this is what they've done. They've tied it from the back. So they've cinched it from the back. I can't tell what it looks like from a distance, but I don't think I'd be doing that. <laughs> I got this necklace as well. I was trying to find, so last time I worked with my mum, I found a butterfly necklace, but I wasn't too keen on that. But I've sat, I thought about it, and I was like, I really need that in my life. I keep on thinking about it. But literally, I sorted through all of the necklaces they had. They didn't have it anymore. It was such a good price. I'm so gutted that I didn't pick it up. But so I settled for this guy. And I'm just in love with stacking jewellery now. So I got this little C, obviously for my name, Caroline, obviously. £1.50 in this yellow gold colour. So I'll put that on as well with this I got this pyjama set as well, I got it in a size small and it was, it's a boyfriend fit short, whatever that means and it was £12 I think, I don't know where the label has gone but it's so cute, it's got like nice um, like cloud print on it and it's blue as well the material is quite wrinkled, it's quite low cut isn't it I like my pyjamas not to be too fitted, um, we'll see how this plays out so when I go to bed anyway, I always wear like a bralette underneath my pyjamas all the time just because I feel a bit more comfortable that way. And I'm just going to show you what the um, shorts look like on their ones. It is really good because it is an adjustable drawstring waist which is really good and you know how much I like things like that. They fit really, really nice as well. I love, <gasps> they have pockets. Yes, they've got pockets so they're already starting to win. Um, I think the top's going to be a little bit very baggy. I'm going to pop it over my head. Literally. What we're saying then is it's very low cut. It's very low cut. Do I look like a hospital patient? No. So I've just popped on a pair of Primark cycling shorts. And you know how in my last video I was saying I would definitely pick up that bubblegum pink top in a black or white? They've got a black. They also have this one in a floral, like ditzy floral pattern. I don't think I'll, I don't think it's me, but my sister was just like, pick it up for her instead. So she can have that one. I also saw a like a green gingham print one as well. I wasn't really feeling that, but the black one, if it fits nice, just as nice as the pink one, it's gonna be a great top to have this summer. Hey guys, so I'm editing the video and do you know what i notice it's actually so annoying i noticed that there's an oil stain on the pair of what they're called cycling shorts and it's really annoying in the video because i'm like it's right there and 
I'm sorry that you have to witness that, but sorry guys, there's no oil stain, things spill and it didn't come out in the wash, so I'm stuck with these like this. It's lovely, I really like it. It's just nice, it's a nice different type of basic to have in your wardrobe. It's, it's a play on like a little crop vest top type thing with the ruching detail, it's really flattering and then it's really fitted when it comes into the tummy section as well. I was thinking a really nice style to wear is like an oversized shirt with this kind of outfit so like a black crop top and a pair of like black cycling shorts and a nice shirt to go with it. I saw this guy, I picked it up in the size 16 and it was £10 down to five. I just thought this layered on top of this outfit, pair of like Converse or something along the lines, that's the whole sort of um, outfit done. Um, just thought it would like be like nice chill vibes, like if you were just going around like someone's for like social distance drinks or like barbecue or something like that, or just like, a walk in the park or something, not that I do any of those. It'd just be nice and cute. I'd probably roll up the sleeves. Was this the look that I was going for? It's quite big, the shirt. I've just clocked, I've already got a shirt similar to this colour and I got it from the men's section from Zara last year and it's denim. This one reminds me of it because when I used to wear that one, I would cinch it in at the waist with a belt and then it would look like a shirt dress type thing. This is similar to that type of look. The way that it's oversized on me is quite oversized, like literally. Um, I could size down to a size 14. I'll probably do that oversized and I want like to have like a bit more like reveal of the outfit underneath as well. Um, because I can't be walking around like this all day. I did pick up these on a different shopping trip. They were three pounds guys, three pounds down in the cell. Got them in a size small and three pounds down from eight. Love that for me. And inside it's so super cozy, super soft as well, like a fleece line. I know that they're not like the prettiest, but for pajama bottoms, you can't have too many pajama bottoms. Wear them every single day and they're cozy and they're warm and they're gonna keep me warm in the winter. So I'm gonna return the leather jacket, return this for a smaller size. From filming that video, I have bought a few more things but it's not enough to make a huge new haul as well. Like I said, like every time I go in, I end up returning things but also doing a whole new shop as well. So I went ahead and picked up this one and this is basically like the black leather pleather jacket in a size 16 um, but it's in a cream colour, so I'll just throw it on now for you guys to go and see. But it was a whole palaver. So my friend and I went together on that day and we chucked the bags in the car and I ended up taking the wrong bag home with me and um, I ended up taking home her bag which had her white denim jacket. It was just really annoying that day anyway, um, so I drove up to hers. All right, there's something wrong with me. I need to check in the mirror next time before I film a video because there's a white mark on this top and it's bloody annoying me whilst I'm editing. So this is £25 and I thought it'd be something new for me because I don't really have anything this... Oh, it doesn't suit me, does it? It just doesn't suit me. I was just thinking maybe it'd be like something different so if I was wearing like a white denim kind of outfit like white mum jeans kind of outfit with this it's looking really bright on camera oh actually do you know what it looks all right in in the mirror it just doesn't look too nice on camera like like I don't know I'm really like I'm ignoring about this but for 25 pounds as well and I know that these are gonna sell out right what else can I pair this with so maybe white I don't have any white cycling shorts, nude cycling shorts, a pair of air, white Air Forces or Mother Queens. Um, I'm trying to sell it to myself like I always do. Very not sure. And normally when I'm not 100% I'll end up returning it. Very not me. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay, winter autumn outfit. Imagine a pair of leather look leggings with this. And then black. Doc Martens, the Jaden pair. Yeah, that could work. That could work. 
I wouldn't see myself wearing this often. Maybe my taste will change. I don't know. I've still got like two more weeks of this um, that I can keep it. I'm apt to think about it, you know. Okay, so I know what outfit I do. I'll post it up now so you can see. So I wore it to Disneyland. It was like a uh, turtleneck and some knitted, um, what are they called? Knitted flares. And that is a winter outfit done with that jacket. So here is the jacket like open. So it could be like an oversized type thing where I just wear whatever I have underneath and just have it open like so. Caroline, come on. Nah, I don't know, I don't know what to do. And then in the video as well, I picked up this shirt in a size 16, I believe. And, but then I went and returned it and I got a size 14 instead because that this is quite oversized as well on me and it fits a little bit better because it shows your outfit like you're intended to wear my Nike cycling shorts with this and like kind of like a bandeau top like this as well or the strappy version of this top because it'd be like kind of like cool and I had my sage white air forces on as well that was a vibe that I rocked in London for a little bit so yeah so it just covers you up just just slightly so you're not showing too much skin everywhere. So that was five pounds. I'm also thinking of pairing it with this Zara dress as well. Okay, so what else did I pick up? I'm hoping I don't forget anything, but I also got on certain other photo or vi little video of these like gradient lime French tip nails. Uh, they were really, really nice and looked really realistic as well. But they kept on popping off because obviously I'm at work and I pick up things all the time and and so I use my hands a lot, and so they just popped off really quickly. Those were £1.50, but they were so nice. And then I also picked up these fake nails as well in this kind of like muted dark rose colour. And these are pound. I like like a square letto or coffin tip nail. I don't really like almonds. That was the first ever false like um, gel powder nail I ever got. And I don't know what I was thinking there. I'll never go back. And then I saw these. Right, they kind of look like fake costume jewellery. They are, but it looks quite fake because um, they're so shiny. Uh, but this is like the closest thing that I can see like in the high street market for this kind of price. Whereas like if you're buying something from like PLC or something, you're looking at a little bit more money. And these are like really decently priced. They're three pounds. I think it's a set of two. If it's not a set of two, then I don't want it. Um, because I don't really want to wear both of them at the same time. Because I like to layer my jewelry, obviously. And yeah, so three pounds. I got it from both the silver and the gold as well. So here's the gold on my skin. Here's the silver on my skin. Oh, that's popping. I think I've actually gone crazy. So I look like a mess. Lol. Right, so it's been like a couple of hours since I last filmed those little clips. And um, I did actually forget something. I forgot to include um, a dress that I've recently worn. Uh, where is it? This is the dress that everyone and their mother has currently in that nude colour and I've always like I used to love v-necks and stuff and then I just went off of it like I hated them and I was just thought it's very mumsy vibe I'm sorry if you like v-necks I just really don't but this kind of v-neck is actually really nice it doesn't like come up as like such a v-neck I'll insert a photo so you can see because I'm not about to try on right now because my stomach is so bloated guys this is so tmi i'm so sorry but um i think i've got like indigestion or something like that the two times extra small fits my sister better and she really likes it but because because <laughs> she was like she's not fussed whether she has it or i have it i got that an extra small and it's midi length and it's 13 pounds i've been so many times back and forth to find the nude color but they don't have it in stock in that size the the smallest size i have currently is extra large and i managed to find bts tops bt21 tops but not that dress i wore the extra small out to dinner with the shirt and it was a beautiful vibe really liked it it sat really nicely on my body and it didn't make me look fat or ugly it was really nice dress to wear so 
so don't mind my little patch there and i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the haul thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one